Good morning, bird brains. Out on the Ultra today, she's still extremely dirty. I'm gonna wash her before uh, the group ride this weekend, I promise. But today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a dirty topic. Let's get into it. <laughs> Two horses playing the mud. <laughs> Get it? Remember, that was a, the stupid, hey, you want to hear a dirty joke? <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! No, it's even dumber than that. <laughs> I'm coming on the channel today to officially announce that me and Mrs. Bird have decided to buy some dirt bikes. That's right, guys. I'm getting back on the dirt. And I'd be lying if I said that that little uh, trek off-road with the Fat Bob <laughs> didn't have anything to do with just this, this decision. <laughs> it, it has a lot to do with the, that. The, blah, blah. <laughs> it has a lot to do with this decision. Uh, I don't know. I guess just having that that feeling of of being on the dirt again, even with being on a bike that was extremely uh, not made for the dirt, uh, just kind of gave me that bug again. Now I do want to say that I have had the bug all along. I've been wanting to get back on the dirt for a while now, but one of the major things that was keeping me back was well, one money, and two, I was just too damn out of shape. Uh, but now that I've, I mean, I'm I'm still in just as bad of shape physically but I'm lighter I've, I've lost some weight now so I feel more confident in the ability to get back into shape and also uh, thanks to you guys being some of the dopest subscribers of all time <gasps> is this a spy vehicle oh my god it is I think maybe I don't know I didn't get a good enough look at it in case you guys don't know spy vehicles are like those uh i mean not spy vehicles but spy photos are taking of vehicles like that where they've got the camo to where you really can't see what the truck looks like and that looks like a, a newer ford so that's cool if that's the case man talk about squirrel squirrel but yeah, thanks to you guys being some of the dopest subscribers on the YouTubes, you guys have given me the extra income and revenue to be able to purchase things like a new dirt bike. Now when I say new, I'm not going to be buying brand new because, I mean, YouTube money isn't that good. <laughs> no, I just, I don't want to be dumping a lot of money into something that I'm not 100% certain that I'll be sticking to. I'm going to buy something, you know, a few years used, which, I mean, is kind of the the way to go with anything but i'm just gonna get like a like a 250 i've been toying with the idea of 450 or 250 and each comes with its own pros and cons but i think that with the style of writing that i'm going to be doing that 250 is going to work best now i I have zero intentions on getting back into racing or doing anything serious like that. I just want to go out and have fun. That's really just go out with my buddies and jack around on the dirt, you know, send it a few times. But that's really the only goal that I have for this new or new venture. But I know a lot of you guys are going to say, well, if you get 250, it's, it's not as good as... 450 if you're gonna do supermoto and you know guys I've, I've wanted to build a supermoto for so long I think they look so fun and to be honest I still just need to do a little bit more research on how much of a pain in the ass it is to convert from dirt to street back to dirt because if I'm gonna buy a dirt bike I want to use it for the dirt I already have two street bikes it'd be stupid to change it into a supermoto when I already have two street bikes granted they're not supermotos and they can't do what supermotos can do but I want a dirt bike that I can go out on the dirt and beat the shit out of it a lot of guys say well you can get dual sport and you know do both ways and that's still kind of an option my experience with dual sports well not my personal experience but what i've heard from other people is if they get a dual sport when they take it off road it gets beat up pretty pretty bad so but like I said, still got a lot more research to do as far as what I want because if the newer dual sports can, you know, get taken out in the trails and get beat to shit and, you know, survive, then maybe that's an option. I found one, I want to say it was the 250X from Honda. It's basically like a 250 uh, trail bike and it has a headlight. It's not street legal, but it has the headlight. And I'm thinking that might be the best way to go. Of course, I still have to go through the, I think I still have to go through the 
uh, tiling process to get it street legal and you know add turn sig or actually I don't think I have to have turn signals in Texas. Uh, I have to have a stoplight, at least one rear facing mirror, a speedometer I believe, a high beam, low beam. I think that's it. Our requirements are very low. And from my understanding, Texas is the easy, or one of the easiest to get a dirt bike titled as street legal. But like I said, my main focus is going to be on dirt. I really want the bike to be set up for dirt. I want it to be able to handle pretty much anything I'm going to throw at it. And, and like I said, it's just going to be trail riding and stuff like that. But knowing me, I have a very addictive personality. I have that racing bug. So chances are, even though I have zero intentions on getting back into it, I'll probably end up doing some sort of, of hair scramble race, which is, in case you don't know, it's it's more like trail racing. It's not like motocross or anything like that. Uh, it's it's all time-based. But uh, I don't know. I <laughs> My body in my pocketbook says, please don't. But my brain, I know how my brain works, and it's, it's probably going to want to do it. So we'll see. As far as time frame goes, pretty soon, actually. I'm really right now just kind of waiting on both finances, uh, just getting a little bit more money saved up, as well as hearing back from uh, local dealerships. Of course, I reached out to them, see if they want to partner up. You know, I've, I've finally gotten to the point where I can pull stats on a lot of my sponsors and have some numbers to show. And of course, uh, my partnership with Alamo State Harley-Davidson has been very uh, mutually beneficial. So I've got them to kind of back me up as well. So I'm gonna, I've reached out to a few and just kind of wait to see how that works out. I'm gonna give them a, a couple weeks to, to get something sorted out. If not, no big deal. It's really just one of those, what's the worst they can say is no, okay, whatever. I'm gonna buy a dirt bike anyways. I will say though that how they treat me for my offers will of course influence where I go. I've got, I've already got one call back right uh, the day after I sent the emails uh, saying, hey, I uh, checked out your channel, looks really good. Unfortunately, uh, that's not something we're looking to do right now, but if you're still in market, uh, come give us a, a look and we'll do our best to give you the best deal, which I can appreciate the hell out of. I can respect that. I hate companies that I'll send an email to and just get nothing back. Chances are, if I get an email back that says no, I'm still going to buy your product anyways. <laughs> that's that's just how it is. But enough of my problems. So like I said, a couple weeks probably before I really get into the market. I've already, you know, started browsing Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, all that stuff. And then there's actually a pretty good market right now in this area, uh, a shit ton of 450s. God damn it, if I was in the market for a 450, I'd have the pick of the litter. Uh, 250s are a little bit more scarce, but still quite a few good options. Now, of course, I'm pretty much searching the entire state of Texas, so it might be a four hour road trip to go get it, but if I'm gonna save some money and get a good deal on a good bike, I'm willing to do that. And then of course I have to get all the gear and all that stuff and uh, it sucks. I had so much gear, guys. I had like two giant duffel bags full of gear. I had like three helmets, God knows how many jerseys. I mean, I was set, but I sold all that back in 2012, which to be fair, uh, most of that stuff probably wouldn't fit at this point, but who knows? Either way, expect some dirt content, most likely by the end of the year. I mean, that's, I feel like that's a plausible goal. Hopefully by the end of, shoot, next month, maybe? It's, it's, it's I'm in a weird spot because I, I don't have a truck, guys. I have no way to transport a dirt bike, which if you're a fan of the Between Two Wheels podcast, that's the reason why I told those guys that I wasn't going to buy a dirt bike until one of them bought a dirt bike because I'm not going to buy a dirt bike and have one, nobody to go ride with, and two, no way to get it to and from the uh, anywhere we're riding at, which that is another reason why the dual sports uh, kind of are a big option but the nearest riding spot is like 45 miles away and i don't know that seems like quite a ways to go for a dual sport 
But uh, Roblox has uh, the two bike trailer that we can use. He also has a truck that could easily handle two bikes. Uh, we've also tossed around the idea of getting a trailer ourselves because Mrs. Bird's uh, car or SUV does have the capability to handle. Heck, her car has the capability to handle two baggers and a trailer, which shocked the hell out of me. I, I wouldn't want to do that because I've driven a V8 truck with one Sportster in a trailer and that towed like shit. So so a little V6 EcoBoost with two full baggers, which is, uh, that sounds terrible, but it's doable. But we're not looking at two full baggers. We're looking at a 250cc dirt bike, and then Miss Bird will probably get a 125 or a 150 trail bike. So easily we'll be able to handle that. And then of course that staples on another, you know, two to $3,000 for the trailer. So, ugh. Uh, so Roblox said he is pretty close to having the funds to do it. And I think he's definitely the most serious out of all of my uh, my OGs. But I've got all of them looking. All all four of them are scavenging the the interwebs already, looking to see what kind of what kind of bikes they like, what kind of price range they're looking at. So I've got that that seed planted, guys. So hopefully we'll have some OG shenanigans on dirt uh, by the end of the year as well. Man, can you imagine how much it would suck if you're riding behind a truck that just dumped a thing of paint? Oh my God. I'd be so pissed. Oh my god, I know you guys can't see this on this camera, but on the back of that V6 Mustang, it has in like rhinestones, like those bedazzled shit, it says Mercedes, but it's spelled M-U-R-C-A-D-E-Z. <laughs> oh man, San Antonio for you guys right there. Well guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments. Are you excited for some off-road content? Are you the opposite of excited? I don't know what that word is, uh, but basically don't give a shit about dirt content. I like to kind of gauge your, uh, your interests because I'm gonna do it anyways, but I'd at least like to know what to expect in the comment section before I upload my first uh, dirt video. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.